I'm on the northeastern edge of the Cotswold Hills, beside a rather ordinary stretch of road. It may not look like it, but this is one of the most mystic places in Britain you may never have heard of. Well, it's all quite uh, simple here. It's not, not a commercialised place, just an honesty box. You just put a pound in, which I think is rather charming. Oh, has anybody got a pound? My bargain destination is right in the heart of rural England. Half of it in Oxfordshire, the other half in Warwickshire. Just a few metres from the busy road, hidden inside a small copse, lie an ancient group of monuments, some even older than Stonehenge. The Rollwright Stones. Well, these are pretty substantial bits of rock, so it must have taken an enormous amount of effort to put them here all those thousands of years ago. There are three separate groups of stones here, each with a rather peculiar name. The stone circle at its heart is called the King's Men. 400 metres away, there's a group of larger standing stones dubbed the Whispering Knights. Over the road stands a massive gnarled rock, the King's Stone. People have been coming to this ancient site for around 6,000 years. What is it about the stones that draws them here? The origin and purpose of the stones is shrouded in mystery, attracting stories of witchcraft and fairies, kings and ley lines. So what are the Rollwright stones? What are they for? Why are they here? Who has the key? to the secret of this place. Archaeologist, a druid, an expert on fairies, a witch. Could these two mysterious figures in the mist provide the answer? Hello. <laughs> Are you experts on this place? No. No. I'm you... just going for a power walk. You... Oh, right. You look as though you knew what you were doing there. There was some... Just walking, really. Well, I've barely been here five minutes and I've already bumped into two locals using the stones in their own unique way. Usually I drop the children at school. Right. Come here, do 20 minutes, yeah. fast walking. Yeah. Minute a lap, yeah. 100 steps a lap. So you're just using this as a, as a, as a running track or a walking track? Kind of, but it's yeah. a nice place. It's a do nice you, place to do, do it. Do you think you absorb any energy from the stones or from the location? Definitely. The minute you sort of step in, it feels quite... Energised, and I always leave energised. I'm a yoga teacher, and I'd really like to do yoga in here. Oh, right. What, did you just bring your mat? I your know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd love to do a class here. So you recommend I have a, a, a run round or a walk round? A walk, a fast yeah. walk. And which way round do you go? Clockwise. Clockwise. Well, you can break into a jog if I you think want. Run would be better, wouldn't it? If you want. Well, that's the end of lap 54. I'll do another one. It's not impossible. It was built as a running track. We may have solved the problem. These were the stands. Maybe they threw things at people as they ran around. Right? 